Hi, this is Dyslexi. Something very neat showed up in a recent Arma 3 Alpha dev build. I want to take a moment to talk about what exactly it means for the community. One of the latest additions to the Arma 3 Alpha is an enhanced fog rendering method. Instead of the rather primitive and unrealistic method used previously in the series, Arma 3 uses an atmospheric model that not only looks remarkably good, but also offers a great deal of flexibility and configuration, as well as resolves some issues that had crippled fog's gameplay potential in the past. The new fog is controlled by three parameters, density, falloff, and height. Density is the same concept as before, it's how thick the fog is. The difference now is that fog isn't universal, it's based on altitude and it clings to the ground realistically. You can see here how the fog creeps in from the sea and into the valleys of Stratus as the density is increased. This is using sea level as a baseline for the fog. From there you can increase it, and here I'm taking it up to about 100 meters. But there's no limit that I'm aware of. The fog falloff value determines how quickly the fog thins out above the base altitude. Raise it to make a sharper transition, lower it to draw it out. The ability to set these new values and the new behavior of the fog allows for some pretty cool scenario concepts. You can have fog without completely restricting the usage of aircraft, and in terrains with valleys or similar features like stratus, this can result in neat situations like aircraft being able to strike targets on high ground, but unable to see units moving the low, foggy ground. Having the fog burn off over time adds an additional interesting dynamic. The next aspect that's great to see is how the fog behaves when in the thick of it. Fog in the armor series previously wasn't really usable. The skybox would continue to render, and as people or objects entered within range of your view, they'd suddenly pop and silhouette themselves against the sky. This dramatically changed the dynamic of fog such that it wasn't really worth employing. It didn't give a good result in general, and it looked ugly on top of that. In the new fog, though, that's not a problem. I mean, how long did it take you to notice this guy walking through the fog? It's a really dramatic change to me, and it means a lot for gameplay going forward. Again, for emphasis, this low-level fog is just that, low-level. And if we pop up a bit, we enter clear air, and one can easily imagine aircraft operating here while a foggy fight happens below. Maybe you'll have to navigate through the valleys to avoid roving helos, or maybe you'll risk a quick run over a ridge to cut your travel time. Whatever the case may be, it's great to finally see fog done right and become a viable tool in the scenario author's toolbox. This is Dyslexi, and I'll see you in the fog. Or more likely, I won't. Progress!